studying 10th grade in Yambo International School. Today in this section we will be talking about radical expression and exponents. Now we previously what we have learned is basically using a square root function. Now what we will do is basically learn how to use cube root function, the fourth root of function and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, get, get started with involving some radical expression and solving them or you can start with radical exponents and try to simplify them. So let's go ahead and do that. So our first example, we'll start off with basics, of course, to get an idea of what we'll be do going through. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with our basics. Now the basics is involving a cube root function, so the basic a part. So it's cube root of 27 x raised to the 6th power okay now we know we can separate this idea by cube root of 27 multiplied by cube root of x raised to the 6th power okay now we know x raised to the 3rd power times x raised to the 3rd power gives us x raised to the 6th power so let's gonna write that thing now Oops. 27 multiplied by 3 x raised to the 3rd power multiplied by x raised to the 3rd power gives us x raised to the 6th power okay now we know the cube root of 27 which is equal to 3 because 3 times 3 3 times 3 times 3 gives us 27 so we can say 3 cubed is equal to 27 so we are, since we are finding the cube root of 27, it's equal to 3. So we know that 3 times, now 3 if you have the, this is known as indice, okay, and this is an exponent over here. So if 3 cancels out with 3, 3 cancels out with 3 over here, leaving you x times x. Now you can also simplify it by, by saying 3 times x squared. Okay, so this is how you solve and simpl uh, simplify this expression over here without the use of calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve another basic exa example in which you end up with a denominator with a radical. And remember, when you have a radical as a denominator, you cannot use that because uh, since you are... <coughs> Because it's mathematically, it's wrong. You need to simplify further to find out the simplified expression without the uh, without having radical as a denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So our example would be cube root of x cubed over. 7. Now we can also write this expression okay, by saying this cube root of x cubed divided by cube root of 7. Okay, now we know that cube root of x cubed is equal to x, but we don't know what is the cube root of 7. We would end up with some decimal point, but that's not what we, what, what we want to end up with. So let's go ahead and write that thing down. 7. Now, recall that we use complex conjugate in uh, complex numbers. So here, since we are not involving any numbers, and uh, imaginary numbers is what I'm talking about. So what you need to do is what, what multiplies by radical 7, cube root of radic uh, radical 7, to just be equal to 7. Well, if you multiply the whole thing by cube root of 7 squared, both sides, okay, when you multiply it bottom, you got to multiply it on the numerator as well. So if you multiply cube root of 7 squared on both sides, you have 7 over here. So what it would basically look like is x times cube root of 7 squared over 
cube root of now we just mix up 7 squared times 7 because they have the both cube root they they can be equal they can be written under one radical okay so I'm just going to erase this and so it's 7 times 7 squared which gives us 7 cube which basically is equal to x times cube root of 7 squared which is 49 over this cancels out with this leaving you 7 so this is your answer okay so you see you can simplify it with the calculator but here we are learning how to simplify your answer without the use of calculator now as you move on we go to hardest examples okay we'll go to the whole process of solving some um, difficult examples now this were the properties of using some easy examples okay since now now that we are talking about properties let's go ahead and see what are the properties that are being used by radical exponents or radical expressions now these properties are the same as uh, the properties that we already talked about which uh, which was in logarithm properties okay and the product of power property would basically be like if you have 12 raised to 1 half multiplied by 12 raised to uh, let's say 1 half what you would do is basically since the base are the same you would just write 12 and add the exponents because you are multiplying so it would be 12 raised to 2 over 2 now the tricky part is most people get confused because they don't know what to do well you can cancel this out the exponent leaving you the answer 12 okay or you can have this over here 3 and how it would basically look like is 12 raised to 1 half plus 3 raised to 2 which gives you 12 raised to 4 over 2 which can cancel this out gives you 2 so 12 squared would give you 149 144 okay so let's go ahead and use a property quotient of power property now the quotient of power property is basically saying that if you have two numbers raised to some exponent and they are being divided by something okay so what would you do well we know if you have an exponent a num base which is raised to an exponent divided by a base raised to some exponent and if the bases are common you basically subtract those uh, the exponents okay so let's see how it works so if you have 125 raised to 2 over 3 divided by 125 raised to 1 over 3 how would it look like is basically like this so you have the same base so you write the base down okay so 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 which gives us 1 over 3 okay so it'd be 125 raised to 1 over 3 now Quran how do we solve this well this is the tricky part now since we are getting too in deep of this what would you do is basically consider the denominator as indice okay now you put that cube root over here 125 raised to the numerator which is 1 now what is the cube root of 125 well of course it's 5 because phi times phi times phi or phi cube is equal to 125 okay since this is the case it's equal to phi so the answer for this problem would basically be equal to phi okay Now, let's go ahead and start involving some extra practice examples.
Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with that. Now we'll use, I want to erase the title over here so we get enough space for us solving the problem. So the first practice problem would be, now if you, okay, just let's go ahead and start off. First one would be cube root of 343 x minus 9. Now I know what is the cube root of 343, not because I've seen the answer, but I know the cube roots of 7s, uh, 8, 9, 10. Okay, till 10, I know the cube root. So the preferable recommendation from me would be that you know squares from 1 to 25 and cube uh, from 1 to 10. Okay, now if we don't know if you if you end up with totally different uh, number what would you use is a factor tree so let's go ahead and use this over here so it'd be cube root of we know this is uh, 7 so basically 343 would basically if you use the factor tree would be 7 times 49 and 49 would be 7 times 7 so it's, it's 1, 2, 3. So it'll be 7 Q times x raised to the third power times x raised to the third power times x raised to the third power. Now remember, since it's multiplying, we don't go 3 times 3, we add the exponents since it's multiplying. Okay, so basically we'll be looking like x, x raised to the third power plus 3 plus 3, which gives us 9. Okay, so since the exponents are alike to the cube root, you just cancel them out, leaving you 7 times x times x times x, which basically gives you 7 times x cubed. So this is your final answer. Now, solving these examples aren't really hard, but you have the most difficult task for most of the people around the globe would be to solve the factor tree. So I hope you guys get used to the factor tree as well. So let's go ahead and we've got a few more minutes. So let's go ahead and start solving some examples. So it would be x raised to the fifth power over 32. But we know that is equal to square root. We don't need to write this. It would be x squared times x squared times x all divided by 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 which basically gives you x squared times radical square root of x whoops divided by 2 times square root of 2 okay so here you basically get over here 4 now Oops, 2 over here. So cancel out giving you 4. And then you multiply both sides by radical 2 to remove the radical from the denominator. So it would basically be looking like x squared times radical 2x all over 4 times radical square so at the end of the day you would basically end up with x squared times radical 2x all over 4 times 2 which is x squared times radical 2x over 8 okay so now enough of the expression now let's go ahead and solve a few few uh, exponent from the radical. Now we are short in time, so I hope I get done with this example. So basically the first one would be 100, whoops, 100 raised to half exponent, raised to 3. So it would basically be like 10 raised to square, 10 squared raised to half exponent raised to the third power. Okay? So you cancel this out since you're multiplying. Now you have 1 times 3, which is 3, gives you 1,000. Now final example, 
would be 243 raised to 2 over 5th exponent. So it would be, this would be the indice. 243 squared. Now this would basically be 3 raised to the 5th power squared. So you cancel them out. So it would basically be like 5 3 raised to the 5th exponent. 5 raised to the 3 raised to the 5th exponent. Because you're doing this, because this is raised to the 2nd power, you do this twice. If it, raised to, if it was raised to the 3rd exponent, you do this thrice. So it would be 3 times 3, which you end up with this 9. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a, um, it helps me out a lot. There is a Facebook page down below in the description. Hope you guys help, uh, got help from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.